Welcome to Mnemosyne European project. Mnemosyne is an H2020 project started on January 2017 and it's a research and innovation action project. We have an excellent consortium consisting of the opportunity research technology as a coordinator. In addition to that, the consortium consists of and of University of Technology, Aachen University from Germany, IMEC from Belgium, IBM from Switzerland, ETH Zedek from Switzerland, India from France, and ARM from UK, in addition to Intelligentsia from Luxembourg. Mnemosine aims at solving a very important computing problem. If you take a look today at traditional computer architectures, you can see clearly that they are facing major limitations. Not only from architecture point of view, but also from the technology point of view, which is used to implement them. Enria is working on the work package on compilers and programming interface. And the general idea is to propose an interface that allows to implement applications that are concerned in the project. And then in the compiler part, we're going to propose transformation techniques that allow the applications to be efficiently mapped to the, mapped to the underlying architecture. And RIA has chosen to be part of this project because the applications that we're targeting are really good models for the type of transformation techniques we are developing. And so um, this project is a good opportunity to have um, real-world applications of our transformation techniques. And so, yeah, it's natural for us to be willing to be part of this project. As IBM, we are contributing to work package number one and four, where we um, do statistical models of HN memory devices. So first we characterize the behavior, the conducting solution of HN memory devices, and try to understand more um, about the cumulative behavior, the conducting strip, and the read noise of these devices. And using um, these characterization results, we go and develop some statistical models. And these models can then be used to simulate uh, how the hardware would behave if they were used for applications. The memory technologies this project uses, it, it starts really from the material science and then goes all the way up to computer architecture and applications. So that's the reason this project is very exciting and I, I'm really happy that I'm a part of this project. I'm involved in Work Package 4, which is the technology and the simulation of the VRAM devices or memristors. Um, RWTH Aachen will do the memristor technology, so we are building the real memristors and also modeling it. So building up a whole chip is a big challenge and Aachen can do the technology, so we are on the baseline of the chip, but um, the upper levels, the system level, and so we uh, doesn't have so much insight, and so we need the partners and work with the partners close together to get everything working so that we have later on a working simulator. So IMEC is uh, a micro and nano electronic research institute in Berlin, Belgium. Uh, in this project, in the machine, we are uh, contributing to the uh, memory technology part and especially in how this memory technology can be integrated into the computational memory tiles. We are mainly interested in this project because we are um, very well aware that if you have very complex new problems, um, like this computational memory uh, issue, then uh, cooperation is, is really important because uh, no organization, no matter how big it is, is, is large enough to do everything on their own. And um, what we want to have is cooperation with universities and other organizations where there is uh, complementary uh, knowledge. And we've seen from the very start in the museum that is really present. So it's a very uh, broad, um, very multidisciplinary project. By bringing our expertise and combining it with the other partners, we believe that in three years' time we will be able to achieve a very nice results. Nimozim is at the forefront of in-memory computing technology. We are now at a very interesting junction. Moore's law is not holding. Computation is facing steep uphill challenges. In this project, we are going to explore that how do we use these memory technologies for doing efficient computation. Uh, from my institute, we are contributing the 
actual tile simulator for the project. We're going to explore what are the different different ways we can use these memories to create really efficient, power efficient computing structures. It's interesting for young scientists to pursue this field because we, we don't necessarily see it, but we're literally surrounded by devices or applications that we are working on. So it's not visible, but still it totally impacts what we do at, in our everyday life. So it's really interesting for young researchers to get to understand what impacts what is on their phone or on the laptop. AI is a big part of our lives. It spans a lot of domains from um, self driving cars into healthcare and into arts even. The big question is, can we have AI systems that operate on lower energy? And in this project, our aim is to build a system that is a thousand times more energy efficient compared to the conventional AI systems. The next generation devices, all our so the maximum devices are going to be battery powered devices. And the most important thing is to operate them at low power, to be always on, always sensing the environment. In that sense, the current CMOS technology is not able to catch up. And that's where Nimozim opens up a realm of different possibilities. And that's why we all should be aware of these technologies, what they are capable of. And this is the project which is going exactly in that direction.